What's up guys, my name is Ancient Sueros, and today we're going to be talking about how to read PC specs. So, a friend of mine was looking at this computer for his gaming PC, and if you're going to be uh, looking to buy a PC for the intentions of gaming, or you want to even build a computer for the intentions of gaming, this is what you're going to have to look for. So, for this computer, this computer in its specs has an Intel Core i7-4790 processor, which is it's good. Um, my friend has a 4790K processor, which is a little bit different. The K on the end represents the ability to overclock. This can be overclocked, but since it's not an unlocked processor, it can't be overclocked to 4.5, higher than that. Um, it can be overclocked a little bit, but not as much as the K variant. Um, Windows 8.1, you can select a monitor, because a monitor is not included. 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is fine, that's, that's perfectly fine. 1 terabyte, that's fine, but when we come to right here, so, this computer is not advertised as a gaming PC, and I, I told him that, and we're working with something else now, but um, at the time, I was looking at the PC, I was like, oh, see the graphics card. So, for $799, you get a NVIDIA GeForce GT 720 with 1 gigabyte. So, if you take that, and you go online, and you search for that, you will find that this graphics card costs $56. And at initial value, if you don't know computer specs that much, or you don't know um, graphics cards that much, graphics cards are usually a lot more money. So in this PC, the graphics card is the R9-290X for $299. For this PC, the graphics card is the main driver of the price. All the other parts, we have an uh, FX8350, FX, 8-core, $179, AMD motherboard, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 600-watt power supply, an NEX, NZXT uh, case, 1 terabyte, a really beefy graphics card. This is an AMD equivalent to almost a 970. It it does out. It doesn't outperform the 970 100 percent. It is a little bit lower than a 970, but the value of that in an AMD card is really really good. Um, and Windows 8 119 dollars, and then the price is here. But the graphics card in this PC is the main driver price. If I was to switch this to say a, a 750 Ti, which is 149 dollars average, the price goes down 100 dollars. So. For this PC, which is $839 with a 750 Ti, or $989 with a R9290X, is $989. For this PC, the Dell XPS 8700 has a GT720 one gig. For that, you're only spending $50. So, the main question that I have, this is not built for gaming, this is built for internet browsing, other things like that, basic, basic use. The main question that I have is where is the price coming from? The price is expensive, yes, and a lot of it comes from the processor. But we're not dealing with a K, uh, Intel Core i7K. We're dealing with the um, the non-unlocked version where you, can, you can't really overclock. For the non-overclock version of an Intel Core i7, 4790, it is 299 if this page would like to load. But the K version is about $335, which is a little bit more money. So the main question about this PC is where is the price coming from? So when you're looking at specs, at least for a PC, in either if you're buying it or even looking to build one, look for a high-end graphics card. You want a good graphics card that's going to drive your gaming. If you're looking for more than gaming, right? If you're looking for video editing, um, different things, you, you want to go with Intel for that, for a CPU at least. So for this computer, this is for a friend of mine, he's not into video editing or anything like that. It's For him, it's purely gaming. So I'd recommend an AMD uh, CPU because it's the best, cheapest way to get a really good CPU for gaming. Because an i7-4790K is not necessary for gaming. You can get away with an i5. You can even get away with an 8-core AMD processor for gaming. When, you, when you're dealing with gaming, gaming um, doesn't really need that much um, many cores in the in the CPU three to two three to four cores is enough but eight cores is pretty much pretty overkill and it will definitely give you the gaming experience if the game is well optimized for um, the graphics card the graphics card for this PC is the driving point it makes the price go higher makes the price go lower I usually don't include the price for OS it depends on their budget and it depends on if they want Windows if they want Linux if they want many other things I put the win the price for Windows because it's needed because a lot of people are going to buy Windows uh, 8.1 and it's pretty expensive to buy. So, out of everything, this PC is alright, but again, overpriced. If I was going to change this to a 6-core AMD processor, that would be $99. 
I don't know the name off the top of my head, but if you change this to a $99 AMD Core, you can even get the price lower. So $909 for a much better gaming experience to this, which is only $100 more than this. If this is $800, and even the market value says $899, which is almost ridiculous. Because where is this where is this extra price going? I know they have to make profit. And I know that they, they make it higher than it actually is. But according to these specs, this computer would cost much less than $799, especially with the graphics card. Now, is the Intel Core i7 4790K needed? No. If your main goal is to do gaming, this PC could be good if you just bought it and then took out the graphics card. You could put a 750 Ti, you get an R900X, and you can put it into a computer like this. And that's fine to do. You can do that, and that will make a perfectly usable PC. And you can do that in any situation. If you find a cheap PC that has a decent CPU, about 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the graphics card is not that good, you can get your own and put your own inside. So you can actually get an R9-290X or um, whatever I have listed here, which is going to be the 960. Um, you can do anything. You can put a 960, 970. You can make the computer decent with gaming. Um, I recently installed a 750 Ti into my uncle's computer build, and that ran games fantastically. Absolutely fantastic. A 750 Ti is like one of the best budget graphics cards I've ever had because for the price point, which is about $149 here, let's look it up. A 750 Ti is about 100 and that's a lot of money for no reason. Uh, right here, this is the one I got. Well, this is one of the ones. Um, this is a 750 Ti uh, for the win edition, uh, $158. And it's a fantastic, a really, really fantastic card. I installed this in my uncle's computer and it ran Bioshock Infinite at 110 frames per second. I played a lot of games on his computer to, when I was benchmarking it and see how it ran, and it played games fantastically. So you can do a lot of stuff when you're either buying a computer or you're building a computer. It all depends on what your skills are and what you want to be doing. If you want a really, really, really good PC, go with an Intel Core i7 or an i5. Uh, an r 9 x is a really good graphics card. A uh, 760 is good. Um, R90 is alright. Um, a lot of there's a lot of different options. AMD, Nvidia, um, Intel. There's all types of different options you can go, and they're all plus cons and, and negatives to either either platform. Using either one is fine, and picking the one you want to use the most is all right. If I do build this PC, I'll definitely have a review video for my friend and for YouTube. I will definitely make a video on using this. I, this will be my first AMD build. I usually just build with Intel and Nvidia, but I do want to use more in AMD products because I, I feel that I'm a little too biased with Nvidia. So I'd rather want to get that bias out and use AMD products because I know AMD products are really standalone. They're really, really good. And for a budget PC, an AMD GPU, APU, um, any AMD product can, be, can make a really killer PC. So if you're, I say if you're looking for a gaming PC, try to look for either something like this if you're willing to spend this much money. And I do think the price comes a lot from the, the Intel Core i7 and a lot of different things. The price is coming out, especially if you're, if you're getting Windows 8. And they do have to make a profit for XP, the Dell. So they're making a profit. And if you're willing to spend this much money, and you can just buy a 750 Ti. Or, um, yeah, if you get this computer, you can buy a 750 Ti. And you'll be really set. You'll have a really good gaming PC. Any, any types of things I list, I'll have this in the description below where you can go take a look at this uh, spreadsheet I have here. Uh, I'll change stuff up, fix all the prices that I've been messing around with throughout this video. So that's going to be it for this video. And what do you think about the XPS 8700? Do you think it's a good PC? Do you think Dell is overcharging customers? Leave that in the comments below. And what do you think about my AMD build? Do you think it's a good alternative to buying a Dell and putting a 750 Ti? Or do you have your own opinion? Write it down below and we can have a conversation about it. And as always, thank you for watching.